Thank you, uh, uh, Deputy Speaker. Deputy President, do you believe in the nationalization of the South African Reserve Bank, given the ANC's resolution to do so at its last Congress? Oh. And if so, how would this fight elicit financial flows and cement investor confidence alongside expropriation without compensation? Deputy President. I, I just think this is a new question. I, I've got that feeling. <laughs> I've got that feeling that this is a new question. It's about the privatization of the Reserve Bank, but we are talking about illicit financial flows. Deputy, Deputy Speaker. I just have that feeling. Yes. Deputy Speaker, with respect, the Honorable Deputy President, in his very lengthy response, went into great detail about the mandate of the Reserve Bank. The follow-up question is germane to the oral follow-up that the Honourable Member has given, and he must answer it, otherwise we're reducing this to a joke. This is what accountability is. And just because uh, Mr. Ibrahim hasn't written an answer for him, it doesn't mean that he shouldn't answer the question. Honourable Stian Hazen, uh, the Deputy President expressed a feeling and even before he concluded that, you were already on your feet talking and giving the conclusions and deciding what he should do. Um, so the Deputy President will respond if he feels so. The yes, that's my view. That's my view. Honorable Member, uh, the, the privatization of the Reserve Bank is not the question that I'm here for. So they, if you want me to probably answer that question, I can do so outside this question and answer session, but it is not the question now. Deputy Speaker, Deputy yes. Speaker, on a point of order, Yes. my question to the Deputy President specifically asks, Honourable, how will uh, the nationalization... Honourable Member. No, please let me finish, Deputy Speaker. How will the nationalization of the Reserve Bank help fight illicit financial flows? That is a very direct and purposeful question related to the original question. The Deputy, Speaker, the Deputy President must be able to answer that. It's a simple question. If he can't answer that, what can he answer? Point of order. Point Honourable um, Chauke, what yeah. are you raising? No, no, on? point of order, Chair. I want to bring your attention to Rule 41, uh, 4126 which deals with totally a new question. The question must arise from the original. Secondly, you have made the ruling, Deputy Speaker, and the Deputy President has responded that he will not be able to deal with this matter now. So the matter falls away. Honorable Deputy President, please. Um, Keep quiet. Any response from you, Honorable Deputy President? Honor Honorable De Deputy Speaker, I've expressed my view. This is a new question, and I'm not going to Deputy Speaker, attempt to answer right. it. Honourable members. Deputy Speaker. The, the Deputy President. May I address you in Rule 41? Honourable Honourable Stian Hazen. Honourable Deputy President did say earlier on that uh, he is prepared to respond to the question um, uh, as posed originally by its original poser, uh, different. Deputy Speaker, this is an oral question session laid down in terms of the I rules. I know that. Can you please then make a ruling, not your view, can you make a ruling that this is a new question so we can take you to the Rules Committee and teach you a lesson? Honourable, Honourable, Honourable Choke, take your seat. Uh, Honourable, no, I'm not going to make a ruling. No, no, no. I will not because, precisely because of the way you've done it, I'll use that as the reason why I'm not going to answer you. I'll teach you a lesson. Yeah. Yes. Deputy Speaker. Honorable Chair, what? Deputy can Speaker. I, let's no, 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 no. Deputy Speaker. Can we proceed, please? Deputy, no, no. Deputy Speaker. What's your question? No, no, no. The decorum of the House must be maintained and respected. Honorable says this and must withdraw what he has just said to you. It's a threat. It cannot be allowed in the House. And especially now that we are in front of us, we have been the Deputy President no. of the country. Yeah. We must maintain the decorum of the House at all costs. I agree with you fully. Uh, honorable members, please let's maintain the decorum of the house. Language that is Deputy. improper will not be used. 
Uh, honorable member, let's deal with each other properly. Uh, honorable Stasian, can I implore you that can, we proceed? Can I address you in terms of Rule 26 of the National Assembly Rules? Oh, would you like us to proceed, please? Now, I would like to address you in terms of the rules of, yes. of the National Assembly, if I may. It's your I know job you, to preside. I'm here to yeah. what you are you required when points of order made to make a ruling on matters. Are you deferring this ruling or are you, are you just simply not going to do your job? Honourable members, I have ruled on this matter and I told you that I will not answer it and I'm uh, as a, as a way... Speaker, may yes. I refer you to Rule 26.4 of the National Assembly Rules? Okay. 26.4 says that the Speaker must act fairly and impartially and importantly, please listen, apply the rules with due regard to ensuring the participation of members of all parties in a manner consistent with democracy. Your refusal and what you've just said now, and the denial of a question which is absolutely germane to the oral follow-up is an abrogation of your duty, sir. You're okay. failing the House. All right. Honourable Deputy Honourable Speaker, on a point can of I, order. Can I? Yes. Honourable Member, yes. Honourable Deputy Speaker, we are tired of the DA's tantrums. The Deputy President has responded to the question. So has responded. He said he cannot respond to that question now. So why can't you take that? And Deputy it's a you question Speaker. what you are asking him. Deputy Speaker. Deputy Speaker. Honorable Member, please let me not allow you. Deputy Speaker. You have just, just for Deputy Speaker, please if I may address you. This the question by the Honorable Shavambu speaks about no the honorable reserve. member you are explaining Ex speaks, speaks honorable about member the reserve bank's ability to fight illicit financial flows my question to the deputy president asks how does a nationalized reserve bank fight illicit financial flows there is no new question in that honorable member i hear you clearly and the deputy president indicated his response and his approach to responding to your question he didn't say, the Deputy President did not say he does not understand you. He didn't say that. And he said he, he feels this is, their, uh, your question contains in it new things. He would like to respond to it differently elsewhere. And he promised to do that. Now, let me, honor, honorable, honorable members, honorable members, earlier on, Earlier on, I pointed, uh, Honorable Mguni correctly pointed out uh, that uh, when questions are posed, the supplementary question must contain one supplementary question. And this one is also the Deputy President's uh, choice. We do have flexibility. The Deputy President, if he wishes to respond to all of them, of course that would be our preference sometimes as well, that he answers as broadly as he possibly can. But the rules that you members of the House have agreed says that the supplementary question, in order to allow the spread and the number of people who must take supplementary question be confined to one question so that he responds to that. So that's the one part of our response. Secondly, honorable members, I would like us to proceed on the understanding that the Deputy President will respond to the DA question in the manner in which he suggests he will and, and that he will be able to provide with the answer that you want. Uh, Deputy President. Um, Deputy Speaker. Uh, they, they want to, the, the, the honorable members want to know when. I thought and you how? said outside of here. This so is an oral question session. He's supposed to answer here. Wait, wait, where is he going to give us the answer? In Barney's or outside? It's, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Honorable Chengwa, on please take your order, I'm moving on now. Okay. I'm moving on. I'm moving on. Honorable Chengwa, answer your, ask your question. The Deputy Governor of the Reserve Bank cites among other things... Honorable uh, Stenhazen, you are insulting me. And it's inappropriate that you say this is rubbish proceeding. It's, in, it's inappropriate. It's out of order. Your frequent doing that is out of order. You are out of order, Honorable Stian Hazen. Deputy Speaker. Uh, go ahead, Honorable Deputy Speaker. Chengwa. Deputy Speaker. What, whatever that Honorable Stazen is raising, we had it all, ourselves decide. 
Can you please ask Honorable Chief I, Whip to withdraw that? I have, have ruled again. on this matter, Honorable Chief. Please, cannot be. I have ruled on this matter, Honorable Chief. It can be. Yeah. Honorable Member, go ahead. Look, Ale Panthi is cutting a single assembly.